tippy time my jamie top cat here and welcome back to the channel today we are looking at our bleak watcher builds with gms getting closer i thought i would give this another go and see if we can make it any better the build itself stays much the same as it normally has but in season 16 there has been three weapons one in particular that have rolled with a certain perk combination that has never happened before making this build even more monstrous than it was before we of course want to be using Eye of Another World. This will improve regeneration speed of our grenade, melee and rift abilities. But this here, Ogma PR6 is just S tier. Demolitionist and Wellspring is going to grant us increased grenade ability energy so we can be spamming turrets left, right and centre. It's going to take about 3 kills to get a full grenade charge. But this isn't the only weapon that can roll with this perk. But it is the most important. The new Typhoon GL5 can also roll with this and makes us some great air clear. You can run it with the Izzy for a bit of damage. And the Fortissimo can also roll with this. I haven't got it yet, but uh, Demolitionist Wellspring can roll on this. Demolitionist Wellspring is a truly powerful combination. And I'm not surprised Bungie hasn't done this before because it just makes this build next level. I can consistently get four turrets out at any given time. Just making air clear really easy because everything is just standing still with waiting for to shoot it. For this build we will need to equip the Bleak Watcher stasis aspect, hold down your grenade to convert it into the turret, and glacial harvest stasis aspect. Upon appraising targets, stasis shards will appear around the targets and this will help us get more abilities. You will want to equip the dust field grenade and it has the slowest base cooldown making the grenade spam that much easier. Quick side note, if you are enjoying the content, please give a thumbs up as it goes a long way towards growing the channel. I would urge anybody playing a Warlock to consider making this build. As for GMs, it is some difficult content and ads do tend to be bullet sponges. So any way that we can slow the ads down is going to help keep us alive. The turrets can also be used in other ways, such as when you've got multiple on the field at any given time, they'll pick what they want to shoot at. So you can almost use them much like a radar because in many GMs, you're not going to have radar. And so they're going to alert you to where danger might be. The fragments we are using are Whisperer Fishes for bigger stasis explosions. Whisperer Shards. This will boost our grenade charge upon shattering stasis targets. Whisperer Torment is going to grant us grenade energy when we are taking damage and with proper refraction. Debiting slowed or frozen targets will also grant us class ability. This will come in handy for our double bomber mods. We are also running firepower. On our legs we are running elemental charge and scavengers and loaders as required. On our chest piece we are running elemental shards. This will make sure that our stasis shards will charge us and dampeners and reserves as required. We will be running another firepower mod, champ mod as required, and impact induction. So whenever we do a melee attack, it will grant us reduced grenade cooldown. And lastly, on our helmet, we are running another firepower mod and ammo finder as required. The main two areas I speak for for this build are recovery and discipline. I do have a bit of strength as I'll be chucking melees to help with my grenade recharge. There is a little bit of a dance to this build, it's not just keep on chucking grenades. As I find it's one of those things when it comes to demolitionists, having that auto reload function, it's something you kind of get used to. So you're going to want to freeze one target, get the stasis shards that's going to charge you with light. That means every time you chuck another grenade, it's going to give you that firepower boost, so you're going to get a more of a jump for your grenade ability energy. Your wellspring, you're going to get three kills with your pulse rifle, and you don't want to reload, you want to chuck your grenade, and that'll auto reload it, and so you just keep on getting the triple kills with the pulse rifle to perpetually be feeding it. If you ever don't get the three kills and you're still short on stasis energy, drop your rift, that will give you grenade energy, or chuck a melee at something, and that will top it up as well. And once you kind of get the hang of it, you'll find the dance really starts working for you. I'm quite a compulsive loader and I still mess this up sometimes. 
at higher incomes and you might want to swap out Whisperer for Refraction for Whisperer of Conduction. This would just make it a lot safer to get those charges from your shards. Anyway, my damage, that is the build for today. I have another world and Bleak Watcher obviously very strong, but the thing that I find puts this all together that we haven't previously been able to do is use this Ogma. Unfortunately, it is a world drop, so whilst that does mean you can get it anywhere, it means you can get a lot of things anywhere. So whenever you see one, take a look before you delete it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Tippy tie my damies. Please like, share, sub, all that hoo-ha, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.